How It Feels to Be Colored Me by Zora Neale Hurston. Zora Neale Hurston, who lived from 1891 to 1960, was one of the first black female authors to publish her work. While she died poor and largely undiscovered, her work is now recognized as groundbreaking for both female and African-American authors. At certain times, I have no race. I am me. When I set my hat at a certain angle and saunter down 7th Avenue, Harlem City, feeling as snooty as the lions in front of the 42nd Street Library, for instance, so far as my feelings are concerned, Peggy Hopkins Joyce on the bull miche with her gorgeous raiment, stately carriage, knees knocking together in a most aristocratic manner, has nothing on me. The cosmic Zora emerges. I belong to no race nor time. I am the eternal feminine with its string of beads. I have no separate feeling about being an American citizen and colored. It is me... It merely astonishes me. How can any deny themselves the pleasure of my company? It's beyond me. But in the main, I feel like a brown bag of miscellany propped against a wall. Against a wall in company with other bags, white, red, and yellow. Pour out the contents, and there is discovered a jumble of small things, priceless and worthless. A first water diamond. An empty stool, bits of broken glass, lengths of string, a key to a door long since crumbled away, a rusty knife blade, old shoes saved for a road that never was and never will be, a nail bent under the weight of things too heavy for any nail, a dried flower or two, still a little fragrant. In your hand is the brown bag. On the ground before you is the jumble it held. So much like the jumble in the bags, could they be emptied, that all might be dumped in a single heap and the bags refilled without altering the content of any greatly. A bit of colored glass more or less would not matter. Perhaps that is how the great stuffer of bags filled them in the first place. Who knows?